Hello, this is Mrs. Bobby, and we are going to be looking at plotting the points and seeing the distance between them and how we're supposed to look at them. So first things first, just looking at the thought of here we have A line AB. And if we were to plot these points, we're just going to use this down here for a minute. You're not going to plot these. You're just going to visualize them for me. Okay. I'm trying to get the glare off of my, off of from, the, from above. Let me try that. See if that works a little bit. All right. So we're going to go negative one, negative two, negative three, up one, two, three, four, five. And I'm just going to put these. You're not going to do this. You're just going to watch it each time and you're just going to fill in the chart as needed. Okay, and then we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we notice that line AB is a horizontal line. And then we have to find the distance. So if you notice up here, see how these fives are the same? That means that the X's are what we're looking at. So we have to find the distance between a negative 3 and a positive 7. So we got to go three jumps here. So that's a 3. And then we have seven jumps here. So three jumps and seven jumps make a total of, that's right, 10 jumps. So it's kind of like absolute value. How many steps away from zero and negative three is? How many steps away from seven? Um, seven and actual seven is. Together that makes a 10. So we're not really going to fill this proof section out normally, but through the notes so you get a good idea. So notice how, once again, the y values are the same. That means this is going to be a horizontal line again. So it's like positive 1 down 1, 2, 3, and then um, over to the negative 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 6, down 1, 2, 3. So let me just make sure I got that right. Yes. And so we have this line. So we know that from this negative 6 to this solid 0 is 6 jumps, and from 0 to 1 is 1. So six jumps and one jump make seven jumps. So you can kind of see that from here, that that's going to make seven, but it's like the absolute value of a one plus the absolute value of a negative six will equal seven. All right. So now if you notice this next one, I'm going to get rid of these. So it's a little bit easier to look at. These are the same X's. So that means we're going to be looking at the Y values to find their jump. And that means we have over one over two down one, two, three, and we also have over two, down three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, if you think about this, this is, they're both the same suit. So they're both on the same, they're both the same sign. They're both negative. So we actually can just count these. It's not going to be nine plus three. It's actually going to just be counting of jumps. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can kind of see that from a negative 3 to a negative 9 is going to be a positive 6. There's going to be 6 jumps in between. So the distance is 6. Okay. And just so you can see that a little bit, there's that. Okay. But we're not going to do, be doing any more of this. Even when you do it in class, you're not going to need to know the proof. You just need to know what's there. So if you see the X's are there again, we have a 1 to a 16. So from a 1 to a 16, that's a 15 point jump. So if you think about it, where it's like on a number line. And you can think about it like this instead of plotting step two. Zero, got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here's 16. Here's one. We can think of it as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen solid jumps. That's how that is. Now, if we look at this bottom stuff, we actually have a picture that we're looking at. And this makes it a little bit easier because we have to look at what point A is. So if we look at what point A is, we actually have to find its coordinates. So you have A and you have B. So we have our coordinates on each of these. So A, and it's not where the D is located. It's like the corner. 
So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's over to the negative seven, and then it's up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right at that corner. So negative seven, eight is there. And point B is over to the one, two, three, four, five, and up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So over to the five up eight. And as you can see, we just kind of have to count. But we know from A to here is seven jumps, and from here to here is five jumps. So that is a total of 12 jumps. And like I said, we're not worrying about the proof category. So we'll look at BC so you have an idea on that. So we go over to the one, two, three, four, five. So B, we have that already, five, eight, right there. So we only need the C value. And C is over to the five, up one, two, three, four, five. So that is five, five. And since it's both on the same line, we can actually just check it. We don't want to say 13 because we're going from a five to an eight. So that's only three distance of three. So basically, an easy thing to think about is counting the jumps. But it's from the corner to the corner. So you're kind of going one jump, two jumps, three jumps. And if you kind of think from D to E, you're going one jump, two jumps, three jumps, four jumps, and then one, two, three, four, five. And you could think, hey, I'm crossing over the axes, so four and five make nine jumps. So another way of looking at it. And as always, I love math and diet cake.